Welcome back. Today we're going to create a MemSQL cluster on Docker Desktop. This is great for experimenting and understanding its capabilities. We could also do this experiment inside Kubernetes or on a Linux machine. In production, we'll want lots of hardware to pull this off. But with this in Docker Desktop, we can do this all on a local machine. To do this experiment, we'll sign up at memsql.com slash download. We'll log into the portal and grab our free license. We'll install Docker Desktop and configure its capacity. We'll create a Docker Compose file that'll specify the container that we'll run. And then we'll start that MemSQL cluster. We'll log into MemSQL Studio, the web-based editor, and we'll create some data in our cluster. Finally, we'll clean up, removing any dangling images and volumes. So let's begin. First step is to go to memsql.com slash download and to sign up for MemSQL. Here at the bottom of the page, we enter our name, company, job title, email address. Once we push continue, we'll get an email inviting us to verify our email address. With the email address verified, we can log into portal.memsql.com, and I've already done that. Clicking on clusters, we could create a free MemSQL Helios cluster, a, cloud, a managed cloud database. But we'll choose licenses. Here's the license key that we'll use. Next up, we need to install Docker. I'm going to come to hub.docker.com. I'll type in Docker Desktop, choose Docker Community Edition, and I'll choose the edition of Docker Desktop that matches my operating system. I'm running on Windows, so I'll choose Docker Desktop for Windows. As I install Docker Desktop, I'll choose to make sure that I'm running in Linux containers. Once I've got Docker installed, double checking, here in Windows, I see I can switch to Windows containers. I need to make sure that it says switch to Windows containers, showing that I'm running in Linux containers. On Mac, there is no such option like this. Let's go into settings and configure the settings for Docker. I'm going to choose resources, and I'm going to change the CPUs to 4, and change the memory to 8 gigs. Now, on your machine, you may not have the ability to give it this much capacity, but the more capacity that you can give to Docker, the better. Click Apply and Restart, and your cluster will be running with the memory that we need to run MemSQL. Next up, we're going to need to build the Docker Compose file. So here on the MemSQL blog, we can grab the companion blog post. Here is the video that we're watching right now. We'll continue scrolling down, and we can see the Docker Compose file. Here's that Docker Compose file. So let's copy this and we'll create a new folder and a new file within that folder and we'll call this file, we'll create a new file and we'll call this docker-compose.yaml. In this docker-compose file, we'll paste that content. Now we don't need to change anything here, but let's go through what it is. We're using docker-compose version two. We have a single container in our uh, docker-compose file and we'll name it memsql. We're using the image called memsql cluster in a box. Memsql provides this container. It exposes two ports. 3306 is the port that we need to connect to the MySQL compatible database interface. And 8080 is the port that we'll use for MemSQL Studio. Now we have two environment variables set. Start after init will keep the database running after it initializes the cluster. And license key references the license key environment variable that we're going to set in the terminal. Now we don't need to change this. If we were to change this and put our license key right here, it would be really easy to accidentally check that content into source control. Now, the YAML file is uh, white space significant, much like Python. So we need to make sure that we indent with two spaces here. If we indent with tabs or more or less spaces, the YAML file won't work correctly. So we've got our YAML file set up. Next up, we'll go create an environment variable. I'm in the Windows terminal, so I would say set license key and I would paste in my license key from the portal. Now I've done that previously, so I'm going to say docker compose up, and now it'll start the cluster. If this is your first time doing this, it'll spend some time downloading the container. That's okay. Here it's starting up the memsql cluster, and now our cluster is ready to go. So let's go to a browser, and we'll go to localhost 8080, and we'll pull up MemSQL Studio. 
Now we could reference many clusters here, but we're going to just run our local cluster. So I log in here with a username of root. The cluster in a box container has a blank password, and we'll log in. So here's our cluster. I can choose the SQL editor, and elsewhere in this blog post, we have a gist that shows us some SQL. So let's go grab that SQL. I'm going to start out by creating a Hello MemSQL database. Here's the Run button that will run that selected piece. We'll use the MemSQL Hello database. Now we'll create a table in that database. Insert some data into the table. And now we'll select that data back out of the table. Now we could include a lot of different schema. We could create many different tables and import lots of data. We could hook this up to our BI dashboard or to our application, or we could ingest data from Spark or Kafka or S3. In this case, we've got our cluster running and that experiment worked great. So now let's close our cluster. I'm gonna hit Control C and that will stop MemSQL, stop the Docker Compose file. Docker Compose down will ensure that all of our containers are stopped. This will also delete the data out of our database. Now that I've got Docker Compose down, let's do Docker System Prune. Docker System Prune will remove all stop containers, remove networks, dangling images, and so this will ensure that we clean up all of the space in our local machine. We could also choose to say docker container rm memsql cluster in a box to delete that image. But in this case, I'm gonna do further experiments. So I'll leave that image in place. So we saw we were able to sign up for a free license. We installed Docker desktop and configured it. We created a Docker compose file and launched our cluster then we were able to use that cluster through MemSQL Studio, the web-based editor. Finally, we cleaned up the Docker system by removing any dangling images and containers.